Hey, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will make a grass animation like this one. And let's get started in the new Blender 3.4 alpha version. So mostly the things are created in geometry nodes. So let's just delete everything and then grab a plane and we want to create our grass on the surface on this plane. Let's drag this window up and we want to go into geometry nodes. And if you don't understand some things, you can watch the tutorial before this one, because this tutorial now builds on the knowledge that we've gained on the previous tutorial. So you can watch that if you want to. Then you can click on the top right eye this is a little introduction to geometry nodes, field system. So we want to have grass on our plane. How can we do this? We can create a bunch of points and then we want to instance on those points with a bunch of curves. And then we want to convert those curves to a mesh and then it looks like grass. And then we can also animate those and make shading and then we can also make those nice alien thing that flies around here. So let's begin. We want to create points. So with shift A, we go into the add menu and here under the submenu points, we can distribute points on our faces. We can plug that in here. Here we can define how much points we want to have and points are literally just coordinates that we can replace later on with meshes or objects and things like that. We want to do that now. So we want to replace our points with a mesh. So we grab in the instance the submenu with shift A, instance on points. And now everything is gone. And that's the purpose because now we want to have a curve primitive curve line as our instance. And now for every point, this node puts us a curve. Let's change the scale of our curve a little bit like this. And we want to have a lot more curves. But now we want to have our curves a little bit curved or a little bit bent over. How can we do this? We have to change the position of our points on our curve or vertices or control points, whatever you want to call them. So we have to grab a, grab a set position node because this is the node whenever you want to change a position or want to display something, you always need the set position node. And here we can grab the input position. And this does per se nothing because we say we want to have the position for the position. And so it changes nothing but we plug the position into the position because now we have the ability to control or manipulate the position here. So because we want to rotate our position with the vector rotate node like this, now we want to have the length of our curves because the more you go into to the top, the more it should be bending over and we need the length of our curve. So a value of zero on the bottom and two, a value of one at the top. And we have that kind of node in the curve submenu. It is the spline parameter node. And you can plug simply the factor into the angle. And you can see nothing is changing. And this is because we are rotating it around the Z direction. And <laughs> that changes nothing. We want to have it in this kind of direction. And now you can see it's not really bending. And that is because we have only two points on our curve have to higher up the resolution of our curve. So we can with shift A go into the add menu. And here we can grab in the curve sub menu the resample curve node. And here we can specify how much points or resolution should our curve have. And I want to have like four or five points so it's more performant for tutorial purposes, maybe four points. But now I want to have it not bending that far. So we need to change the strength of our spline parameter. And we can do this with a math node. 
and we can set it to multiply and now we can change how much our grass should bend and now we want to have a nice wind effect and we can do this by controlling our rotation here with a noise texture but first of all we don't want to have every single axis controlled by a noise texture so we grab a combine xyz node in the vector submenu in here and now we can control every single axis so we split it them apart and now we can grab a noise texture and we want to affect the y-axis I believe yes now we need to animate our noise texture how can we do this we can again take our position and nothing should change but now we can manipulate our position here in the middle so we take a vector math node and we want to add we can of course always higher up the amount of those things so we can see in which direction this goes so yes we want to have it in this direction so we have to split this again up so we have every single axis and now we can add here our time and we have a note for this it is the scene time node so just search for it I'm not exactly sure where it is located and just plug the seconds into the X factor and now it is animating but a little bit too fast and in the wrong direction so we have to manipulate our time and we can grab our multiply here from the top just plug it in here and maybe minus 0.5 so we invert it and make it half the speed and now it looks like this a little bit too fast still maybe something like this the scale a little bit and now we have to speed it up a little bit again like this now another thing we want to have we want to have our little alien thing this is pretty simple we have to create another object like so and then we want to create a new geometry nodes tree and here we don't want to have the plane so we cut the wire or plug it out you can cut something with control and then right clicking then you cut something here we can add a curve primitive curve line and we want to have a resample curve so we can control the resolution of our curve and now we want to have maybe the z a little bit longer and now we want to instance our points on our curve line and so we grab an instance on points node and now we can grab another curve line and we want to instance another curve line on our curve but this curve line shouldn't go into the z axis it should go into the y axis like so now you can see what this looks like and now we want to have a higher resolution and now we want to rotate it around our middle like a spiral how can we do this we can grab our rotation and split it with a combine XYZ node like so I can collapse this and now we want to have them rotate on the Z axis around our middle and for every single curve I want to have another value and we can use the in the input the index for this and we can plug it into the Z and the index just tells you the first instant instance is I believe the value of zero the next is the value of one and the next is the value of two but we don't want to have those values that high so we will grab a math node set to multiply and now we can change this a little bit and now we want to have a different scale from the bottom to the top of our instances so they get smaller the more they go on the top and we can use that scale for this and we have to use the length of uh, the length of our original curve line here and we can grab that length by using the spline parameter and the factor and we can drag that into the scale to invert the scale of course so we can grab a color ramp like so we can set it also to ease we can invert it so maybe it looks better if it's being linear and now we can also change the resolution here 
maybe something like this should be fine. And now we can also convert our curve to a mesh. So we can actually see it and render it. For the profile curve, we want to have a curve primitive, a curve circle with a resolution of three. So it's more performant. And this is actually a mess. So <laughs> we want to lower the radius. We also want to have it a little bit animated. We want to grab here our rotation and we want to grab a texture Voronoi texture like this and we want to grab the instance into the Y and I don't want to have it that random and I want to have a color ramp. Let's maybe use the X. Yes, the X is what we wanted like this. We want to animate our Voronoi texture so we grab another position like so then a vector math node. Then we want to have a combine X, Y, Z node so we can separate our X, Y, Z. And then we want to have a scene time node. And we want to look what axis we want to have, not the X, not the Y. We want to have the Z and we want to lower time. So let's grab a multiply like so. And now this is looking great. You can experiment with those handles here. And now we want to also rotate the whole thing. So we can grab a transform here in the end. And we want to rotate this thing. So grab a combine XYZ node. So we can separate our XYZ axis. And we want to grab another scene time node and grab the second into the Z. And now it looks like this. And we want to have it, of course, way faster. So we grab a math node set it to multiply and maybe times three. And it is the wrong way around, so minus three, maybe minus five. Yeah, this looks like my example. And we can also play around with these values here. Maybe we want to invert those. Yes, maybe minus 0.4, maybe minus 0.5, minus 0.6. So yes, now it's rotating like this. And now we are ready with our alien-like creature. And now we want to, of course, so let's go into the graph and ed editor and let's go to zero and bring that thing over to here. Maybe lower it a little bit and let's rotate it like so. And let's press I and we want to have a keyframe for the location and the rotation. And we want to go to frame 250 and let's make it over like this and press an again I and set a keyframe for the location and the rotation. And now we want to select every keyframe and press V and let's use a vector. So it is consistent. But now we want to have our grass reacting to our creature. So let's go another time to geometry nodes and we want to use our rotation here again. We want to rotate our instances and for this we have to rotate our instances again here and for this we can go into the utilities submenu and grab the rotate Euler and with this we can rotate by the instance of our creature. And for this we need the information from our creature so let's grab it and drag and drop, drag it into geometry nodes and set it to relative so it takes the current position and not the original position. And with this we can now use a geometry proximity node. So just search it like so to now calculate the distance from our object to our grass. And we can use that to manipulate an axis. So let's use a combine XYZ node again. Let's plug that into the Z axis. But now the geometry proximity node shows us an error and it says instances and input geometry are ignored. And this because we are using instances here and they are not realized. So just use in the instances the realize instances node. And now it should be working. But you can see it looks a little bit weird. So we have to adjust our values here. So let's use 
a color ramp after the geometry proximity node like so and let's use it ease and let's use for the white values invert this like so and let's set the white white value to four and you can play around with this here a little bit more now it looks like this and now we can go over to shading so we have to of course convert our curves to a mesh so let's go to curve curve to mesh like so we want to have a curve circle as the profile curve and let's plug it in here and we don't want to have the radius that big make something like this and we want to have the radius on the top zero and on the bottom one so we need the length of our curves so we have to grab a set curve radius node and use the spline parameter node with the factor as the radius and of course we have to invert all of this so let's use a map range node the zeros should be one and the one should be zero and now we have our nice grass behaving like so and now we can also also shade the whole thing so let's create a new material and we want to use a set material node material 001 and for this creature the same we want to create a new material set material node and material 002 you can use of course the materials you want to have here and for the grass we want to go into the shader editor and we want to go into the rendered mode and cycles I set it to GPU because my one is faster than the CPU for the world I want to have a sky texture like this it's of course way too bright so I go into the color management and I'll drag our exposure down like so and now I want to have of course a color for our grass so I'll use a greenish color like so and for the creature I want it to be orange like so and now to make it a little bit more like night we can go into the world settings and here we can grab a mix node mix and set it to a color you have to connect it again properly and set the mix type also to color and we can mix a little bit of blue in here and of course lower the overall brightness of everything and maybe also change the sun and now to make this nice glow effect we have to go into geometry nodes and here we have the distance from our original mesh and so we have to drag it outside of the group output and we have to define an attribute for this I call it prox short for proximity and now in the shader editor of course we have to switch it back to object we can grab an attribute input node and here we can call our prox attribute and we can see absolutely nothing and this is because we have to realize our instances so we grab a realize instances node and plug it before the uh, after the instances on points node and now we can see we get some information and now we can work with that so we plug that into the emission and then we can grab a color ramp add some here and of course change it to something like this and then you can experiment with those parameters more and yeah i think you get the technique and i think this will be the basic step for this effect thank you all for watching if you want to have my finished file which looks like this my polished file it's all working like that and it's also animated all that we did just more features and more polished and looks better because I had more time uh, then you can check out my gumroad 
that here you can find it under the tutorial resources here i will put in every file from every tutorial they are all categorized so we are currently on the sixth re-recorded tutorial on this channel which is the alien grass scene you can click that then and here on the sixth you then have the preview and then you can check that out if you want to i have also a material pack on my gumroad you can check that also out if you want to an advanced version which has up to 300 materials and a simple version which is for free you can test that if you want to thank you all for watching have a nice weekend and see you later